I'm doing is I'm taking some of these fat granules and squeezing them against the side of my wok or um, skillet. And I can imagine from a primitive standpoint in order to make tallow, you could peck out a rock and pecking means you have a rock and you have a, another rock or smaller rock and you just sit there and you hit the smaller rock against the bigger rock or your target rock and and and, and you start to, to to peck away little specks and bits of the uh, of the target rock and you end up having um, creating grooves uh, and so I could imagine heating up your target rock that has been pecked away that has a, a spout or a spigot that as you're frying your fat on the rock the the, the, the meat or the meat stays on one side and the fat drips down the other I mean that could be one way it's done I'm not sure how it was done traditionally uh, from a Native American standpoint and I'm not sure how it was done um, primitively you know how ancient peoples did it but uh, the idea is to get the end product which is the liquid that you see here okay so I'm gonna start to strain this now this is not this is pretty much the crackling that we, we've got this is all the meat and stuff and I'm just put that over there. I've got a strainer. Let's put that there. Strain it out as much as I can. And then normally what people would do is put salt or seasoning salt on that and feast on it. Again, if you're not on a health conscious diet, then you can do what you want to do. Um, because it's all all it is this at this stage is pure D fat. It's just fat, but this fat is a good thing when you're trying to see at night. So I'm just take this and again, and I've reduced the heat, and I still will probably put this through another sieve just so I can get pure grease without the, the little tidbits here. Pure tallow without the tidbits. And because this isn't fine enough mesh. So at any rate, this is probably this is what you would get as far as um crackling is concerned or something to eat off of if you wanted to. Um, Season it with a little bit of salt and you'll be alright. But what we want is this liquid here. This is this is tallow. It's just liquefied. So I've uh, cut the heat off. And uh, now I'm going to let it cool down a little bit before I transfer it to a container. Alright, so I'm going to sieve this or strain this grease. Now, I'm going to say this is extremely hot molten grease, okay? This is not to be played with. Don't make sure your kids are not around, animals, etc., etc. You will scald yourself and a grease burn is no joke, alright? So, I've got um, a strainer and over a metal uh, container or bowl and some paper towel here and uh, I'm just gonna pour this on just so that it can strain and get rid of all the uh, the remnants of the meat okay that's what will go rancid if you strain this properly and there is no remnants of meat within it it won't go rancid what goes rancid ran is the biomaterial that's in it, like meat and sinew and ten tendon, etc., etc. So let's see how pure we can get this. And again, I'm just using a sieve, and that should give us some 
pretty pure tallow here using a paper towel or a coffee filter works pretty good too and a, a nice uh, uh, a sieve like this um, in the bush you know it's not going to be as refined as this um, I suppose one could learn to make paper and make paper towel and carve a sieve and put little holes in it. I mean, those things take time though. I think if you want some quick and dirty, um, then you know, you're not going to get the most perfect or purest of anything really. Especially in a quick, quick fix. But for the most part, I think we've gotten the most of it, the, the majority of it, and that's what you end up with at the bottom as this has sifted out. And I'm going to set this aside. And then this is tallow, and it's in a metal container. Um, so it can cool down a little bit more before I transfer it into something a little uh, that I, that more permanent that I want to keep it in. Right now it's too hot. Most likely it'll be plastic. Um, I will transfer it into wood, but for the, for for this um, bit, the batch that I made, I'm just going to put it in a little plastic container. Yeah, something just dawned on me as I well, was waiting for this to cool. Um, I have a parakeet, and I know that a lot of people you you can either buy or make. Um, bird feeders that you can hang outside for the birds in the winter time by making you know essentially suet uh, pre-melt some suet and make a little suet candle or something and then you know inlay it with um, bird seed so that the uh, animals the birds can go and peck off of it and get some nutrients during the cold winter months so um, that's another way to do it if you're just doing it for home use versus um being out uh, in the woods somewhere. Now I'm going to take the uh, molten or liquefied suet, which is now tallow, and put it into a container. And I made sure I cooled it down because I'm using a um, plastic container. Let's make sure that goes in there. And then you can put this in the refrigerator or just let it sit. It will solidify on its own. So here is the finished tallow. Um, it's a little darker than I'd like it to be. That meant that um, my flame was a little bit too high. So I've, I've rendered tallow to where it is as white as it started. Um, it doesn't, I don't think it affects the quality, it's just that, you know, it, you, it, it just reflects the way it was rendered, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to keep this, and again, I, I just put it in the refrigerator if I want it to freeze, or if I want it to solidify it quickly. Freezer or refrigerator, and there it is, and then I can leave this out the way that it is, and it, uh, um, it, it's, it sets and it keeps and holds. It doesn't go rancid as long as there are no meat products in it. So it, it's a good, you make sure if you choose to uh, render tallow, be safe. Don't mess around with molten grease. You know, you can scald yourself with that and that's not a cool feeling. Um, and then make sure that, um, you strain it properly so that you have nothing but pure liquid grease, pure liquid fat. And therefore this is tallow which can be used to make candles and torches and a lubricant and I mean you know the, the, when you need a product like this, a fat based product like this, natural fat based product like this you can do it and again it was what two bucks a pound so and I've pretty much got a pound maybe a half a pound in my hand so it, it renders pretty good 